Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a DIY Christmas wreath. I made this wreath to match my Christmas tree so if you guys want to see how I got this just continue to watch. So I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I have had this wreath for about four to five years and what I typically do is I just cut off the ornaments that I had on there from the previous year and I just add my ornaments on that I have left over from my tree this year. So that is how I managed to save money when it comes to buying a Christmas wreath. Nobody has time to go out and continuously buy wreaths every year so what you guys see me doing now is I like to find the center of my wreath now when I say the center this is where I want my um, wreath hook or my command tack or whatever you want to call it to hold my wreath onto my door and so I like to tie the ribbon right here so that I will know exactly where the center is and I decorate around the center This year I use mesh to decorate my Christmas tree. So that is what I'm going to be starting off with first. I'm using my base color, which is a solid lime green color. And what this is going to do is it's going to actually bring it all together. Sometimes I like using one mesh, but I actually like using two or more. It just really depends on how I want my tree to look. So typically you see people hot gluing this onto the Christmas tree wreath but I'm not hot gluing anything like I said I have had this wreath for about four to five years so what I use is I guess you can call them the bread tires I actually have a lot of those because I actually put five boxes of Christmas lights onto my tree and the way that they store them inside the box with the little plastic tires that is what I'm using to hold my mesh onto the wreath so you're going to be seeing me use that and I'm not using any glue at all When I'm decorating my Christmas wreath, I just like to get a feel on how I want my mesh to actually sit on the wreath. Sometimes you can see wreaths that have mesh going back behind it or you have some that's going in the front of the wreath. But for this one, I think that I'm really going to focus more towards the front of the wreath. And I may put a couple of things behind it and you'll see that later on in the video. So what you're going to see me doing is a lot of touch, feel, and go. And that's basically me just finding where I want my mesh to be placed. And I'm using the pinching method to put my mesh onto the wire that's actually inside of the wreath so that it holds everything together and nothing will fall off. Since I have finished with my first layer of mesh, I'm actually going to go with my second layer and this is the red with the lime green stripe mesh and it, these are the two colors that I use on my Christmas tree. If you guys have not seen my decorate with me Christmas tree edition, please be sure to check it out. I'm going to have the link for that below. But this kind of ties everything together and I think this is a beautiful setup putting both of them on the lime green mesh which is a solid color as you can tell with just a little bit of glitter. And the same thing with the red and the lime green stripe. It really brought everything together on my tree. So I definitely had to make sure that I put this on my wreath.
So this is what the Christmas wreath is looking like so far with the two meshes that I have added on. I'm not done yet you guys. I know this kind of looks like it's a lot but it really isn't. I'm going to be adding some leftover Christmas ornaments that I had left over from my Christmas tree and I'm going to be actually using the ornament ties to put them on there. So the ornament hooks that you use to actually hook them onto your tree. That is what I'm going to be using today to hook them onto my Christmas wreath and I'm going to make sure that they are extremely tight and they're going to be hooked onto the wire that's in the middle of the Christmas wreath so that it stays on when we open and close the door. As I have mentioned before you guys, I like to add ornaments on the sides of my wreath and it kind of just gives it more of a pop. Instead of you just seeing the ornaments or the design that's on the front of the wreath, you also see what's on the sides of the wreath and I think that's what actually brings the wreath life by seeing more than just on the front side but also seeing the sides of the wreath. Anytime that I'm decorating the sides of my wreath, I like to consider that ornament more like a nest where I'm actually creating a nest for my ornament to sit on so that it just gives it more of a pop and it doesn't fall just, you know, back behind the wreath and you really can't see it. So just think of it like a nest, you guys, like a bird's nest. And that's how I'm grooming my wreath to fit with the ornament. So far so good you guys I just had to take a second and look at my actual wreath and I realized that there were a lot of other spaces that I could have added more ornaments so that is what I'm going to be doing now. So this is what my wreath looks like when I finish putting all the ornaments on. You guys, it looks very, very good. I really, really like it. Um, one thing I may do is I may add in some red and white center pieces as well. But for now, this will do. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later this week.